not looking good. This is this is a huge scam. F all of this, like f it. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Let's rewind this adventure a little bit. <laughs> Hello and welcome to New York City again. We're in the city to get a COVID test before we fly out because you need a COVID test to fly these days pretty much anywhere. Make sure that you get your COVID test 72 hours before you fly. I went to the city and I got mine. I forgot my ID at home. Actually, I forgot everything at home. Fortunately, I had a picture of my passport that they accepted, but I'm always forgetting something <laughs> lately. It's a problem. You'd be surprised, but packing for me takes a lot of mental energy because I'm always trying to reduce as much as I can, but still have the things that I need. So I put all my vitamins in uh, these containers, which my vitamins right now are basically iron, some vitamin E, and some glucosamine. I like to take probiotics, especially while traveling because you never know what kind of foods you're gonna be eating, just good for the digestive system. I don't know, just trying my best. You don't have to take vitamins, I believe, but I just do. I'm also pretty particular about the types of stuff I use on my skin and face and stuff, so I bring my own skincare, because you never know um, what kind of things the country you're going to will have, so it's best just to be prepared. I'm so anxious. I don't know, I'm, I always get super anxious and nervous before I leave. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like this weird, shocking loneliness. Before you travel out, there's a lot of things to remember. You gotta get your travel visa, you gotta get travel insurance, COVID test. I was vaccinated too before I left. Um, and then you have to have an outgoing flight. Spoiler alert. What's that? Yes. Thank you, yeah, Terminal 4. Terminal 4. Yeah, thank you. Yep. You then have to, before you go, figure out where you're going to stay. You have to figure out transportation from airports. So this is where my trip goes horribly wrong. Um, they would not let me check in because I took the wrong COVID test apparently. I got the rapid test and I needed a PCR test. So they said to go downstairs and go get a test, but there was a line and then the line stopped and they said, we're not moving for another 45 minutes. My flight left in an hour. Well, hopefully we can do it. <laughs> Plus it takes a half an hour for the test results to come in. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. So, things have gone really bad. Really bad, I've never had such... Okay, so we have to get a PCR test, which I got a COVID test, as you guys saw. But that was the wrong one, it was the rapid one. Apparently nobody tells you this, but now I know. My flight's leaving in like an hour, and we're trying to get a PCR test. But it's $225. I'm the so stressed. I'm so stressed. We have to find the terminal, get the then test, pay way too much money, cars, come back, and then try and like check and in, which is gonna be even. Ugh, okay, I'm just not gonna talk about it. Let's just do it. The reason I'm so upset about this is because they're charging people that much money for a technicality. I got a negative COVID test. I'm also fully vaccinated, and it, they said I needed to get a rapid PCR test. I already got a rapid test. I'm what is the staying difference? staying hopeful that I'll make my flight, but um, it's not looking good. The, the test takes half an hour, 45 minutes, to, or half an hour to an hour to process, and I can't check in until I have it. This is, this is a huge scam. Fuck all of this. Like, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm, this is ridiculous. Sorry. I just have to say that, but let's just continue on. So I ran back up to check in. I checked in with my negative COVID test, which came in just in time. And then the lady said I still couldn't go to Egypt because I didn't have an outgoing flight. Now, I've heard of this happening, but this has never happened to me. And it just depends on the person that you get when you're checking in. And I was so upset at this point. So I rushed and I tried to find the cheapest flight outgoing to a different country. So I just chose Turkey. And I'm not gonna use the flight, but I had to have an outgoing flight to be able to check in. It was such a mess. So I was sat on the floor the last minute of check-in, trying to find a flight to Turkey. Finally booked it on my phone and rushed to through security. Everything that could go wrong did, but somehow I made it through. Still. Right, one is a Jamaica train stopping at Terminal 2. Four, 
just ran through the entire part. I'm gonna puke. And I made it to board. They're not even boarding yet. Wow. They then did another COVID test check before boarding and they said that they never saw my test before and that it wasn't valid, but then someone else came and checked it and said that it was, which it better be for $225 or $220. Anyways, so Egypt Air gave us these little packs of toothbrushes and socks and hand sanitizer and stuff, which was nice, and also a blanket and a pillow. The, the flight was 10 hours long from New York City to Cairo. They also gave box food with a lot of bread and they didn't have any vegetarian options, so I just ate the rice. I finally made it to Cairo Airport and then I had a connecting flight that I needed to get to to go to Charm. They smoke in the airport. It's strange. I'm like the only one here. I'm literally the only one. Oh, this is interesting. I'm connecting my place. I went from Cairo to Charm, and then I needed to find my luggage, which was misplaced because I was in the only international flyer, apparently. <laughs> and then lastly, I needed to find my driver, which was gonna take me from Charm to Dahab, Egypt, out in the middle of the desert, out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. And then I finally found my driver and we drove for an hour and it was very beautiful scenery, I have to say. And it's such a contrast from being in America, suddenly being in Egypt. It's very, very cool. There was also checkpoints, probably three or so that you had to go through. So hello, I'm here, finally, in Egypt. There's been a lot of ups and downs, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna be making more Egypt content. Just got a shower. Um, I don't even know what to say. Welcome to Egypt, for me to you. I hope that this gave you some sort of insight and helped you in some sort of way, I don't know. It was definitely not what I expected, but traveling kinda is never what you expect. You have to expect the unexpected, I suppose. But it, so far, I'm super happy. I love it here. Um, it's very interesting, very out in the middle of nowhere. Very interesting, but we're gonna have a lot of adventures um, exploring this area and then going up and seeing some pyramids and mummies, hopefully. Thank you for coming along this journey with me. I felt like you guys were here the whole, the whole while. I wasn't so alone, because I know that you guys are all out there rooting for me and supporting me, and I really appreciate you so much. Um, this is the reality of travel. And that's kind of what makes it worth it. Travel, it feels like to me, is like a toxic relationship. It's like when it's up, it's up, 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 but when it's down, it's down, down, down. Who knows? Who knows what's next? I don't even know. Let's say extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.